things about uh, environmental responses is learning um, how the cells process inputs, which are changes in environmental factors, and prop integrating signals, processing and determining the output, which would be changes in physiology. And the chemostat is a, is a workhorse for that, where you can control environmental factor changes and um, uh, monitor them and collect samples without perturbing the cells in, in unaccounted ways. And that's the way to generate models. So this is one of the main instruments. So this is a microscope with an uh, incubation chamber built around the microscope stage. And it is connected to a fluidics control system over here with valves that are then programmed and uh, modulated with uh, uh, computer programs uh, that are set over here. And we can place chips in the chamber there under the microscope objective and, and, and modulate the cell culturing using the microfluidics uh, devices and the valves I just mentioned. The algorithm SeaMonkey and Infrarator, for example, require a lot of processing power for building the models. And uh, you can parallelize a lot of these computational efforts because the discovery of co-regulated genes, for example, can happen in parallel. You can discover many co-regulated genes at the same time. And you can do it on a cluster, which will essentially save you a lot of computing time and um, help you get to your answer within a few days than several weeks or months.